Huh, really interesting. Down at um, Coach Convention, I found out the job had come open, so I kind of admired BT Jordan work online um, for the past few years. A lot of my guys talk about him and whatnot, so I kind of ran up on him and we exchanged some information. Then I caught wind that, again, that the position had opened, so I called a few of my friends and other people tried to get in contact with Coach Tucker and end up getting the interview. Yeah, so I, actually years and years ago when he was the defensive coordinator down at um, down at Jacksonville, I actually interviewed for, for the job, um, extending the job offer to me, and I ended up deciding to go go to Minnesota, go to the Vikings. And um, I think he probably remember me ever since, but um, I've been kind of following his career from, from afar and got the opportunity to get a chance to work with him and kind of excited about it. It was very attractive. When I got a chance to see the, the roster once I got up here and did the interview, um, felt like they have a really good foundation. Um, bringing some, some younger guys that's coming along and they've been able to get some older guys from other other places to to kind of gel together. And it seems like they have really good leadership qualities and look like they've done a good job with the roster trying to find guys from other programs that have those leadership qualities. It was it was really appealing. Um, it does have that NFL OTA type um, feel to it. Um, the recruiting part of it was really interesting to me because we um, position, position recruit, and I guess we, you know we go national for it, which is which is great because it's kind of like a, a NFL experience. You go to pick the guys that you want. And the new for me. This is new for me. I mean, I think it's going to be a good marriage though because we, we we learn a lot of the same stuff. Um, I kind of compare it to like like having a a shot coach, you know. I mean, Michael Jordan had a shot coach. I mean, um, all all the greats had people that made them better. Um, he's not going to do anything but make our program better. Um, he's really attractive to the to the young guys that are coming along, um, seeing all the guys that he that he has that opportunity to work with, which is great. From Von Miller on on up to all the new guys that are up and kind of, it's really spectacular. I got to get back, get back used to the Big Ten. It looked like the Big Ten has still, still got the, the smash my football concept. They hadn't gone all, you know, spread, 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 fast, fast, fast. Um, I, I'm used to both. I mean, I, I really enjoy both of it. I'm, I think some of the other conferences get in a situation where when they don't play enough smash my football, um, guys don't get used to playing those type of blocks anymore. You know, the old school traps, the old school powers. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Um, that's the kind of kind of approach I'm, I'm, I'm taking with it. I feel like um, I feel like Coach Tuck's looking for just a technique, just a, just somebody that's a technician. Um, I kind of pride myself on that. Some of, the, some of the guys that I had the opportunity to learn from in the league and whatnot, just, um, you know, teach, critique, demand. Um, being able to go part, part, whole and allow guys to kind of build it from the ground up and, and have, you know, strategic um, attention to detail. I think that's what he's looking for. I can't say that I am. That's, that's to be determined. Um, but I'm looking forward to, to, to making, making it the perfect fit. I, I just I really just think any opportunity that you get is really what you make of it. Um, I think I'm taking the right approach to it. Um, Coach Tucker's giving me all the support. I'm getting a chance to, you know, be around um, um, our defensive coordinator, um, Scotty Havitt. I mean, th those guys have kind of em embraced me, and I think it's going to be a great fit. You know, right now, I mean, I I'm getting a little hands-on. got a little hands-on this morning. Um, I'm just looking for those guys to be leaders and how fast that they can learn. Um, in this whole new realm of college football now, you got to find ways to make the teams jail fast. Um, I'm just trying to – figure out how, how the pieces are going to fit at this point. Um, at some point, you'll have emerging leaders. And with the leadership, with, with the younger guys, what I do appreciate the group, all these guys are eager to please, and they're eager to learn. So I'm really excited about that piece of it. Oh, uh, the logo. Well, it's a little bit different because I have family up in the Michigan area. So mm -hmm. some of them, half of them pull for that school down the street, and um, you know, the other half pull for Michigan State. So. I got some proud Spartan fans in, in my family. So, but definitely looking forward to, to wearing that logo and, and seeing what it's all about. I'm still learning the culture. I'm still learning. I'm telling you, I'm asking a bunch of questions. I'm still learning um, where it came from, the, the agricultural school used to be the Aggies. I'm learning all of that stuff now. Um, and I'm excited to learn about it. Um, 
Ypsilanti area, um, a few around, around this area as well in, in Detroit. If you see any rentals around this area, they're probably mine. <laughs> they did. I mean, you, when you have guys coming from different places and, you know, and it's, and it's tough now because, you know, you got coaches moving and, and whatnot. It's, it's just a different arena. But the guys have been really receptive, you know. I mean, it's going to take them, all of them some time to warm up. But if I, I'm here to do my job and I do my job well, they're here to get better at football. And if they embrace that, everything will work out. I'm telling my guys right now, you need to earn the right to rush the passer, and that comes with stopping the run. And we're going to we're, we're going to work on stopping the run first, and then pass will happen. Um, we get an opportunity to to stop the run and put guys people in second and long and third and long situations. That's where your pass rush comes into play. It it, it helped because we had the national recruit, and that's kind of what we're doing now with the position recruit. Um, you know, just like Stanford was a national brand um, for different reasons. Um, I feel Michigan State is a national brand as well. So we can go out and, and hand pick and go get the, the top guys that we want and actually show up anywhere in the nation and be successful. It's just the right fit. I mean, you know, you build <laughs> the old, old field of dreams thing. You build it, they'll come. You know, we, we're trying to set a standard and, and build it where guys are more attracted to come to this place. But um, I don't think it's any. I know for me, being at, being at Stanford and being at a been, been at different places, it was harder for me personally to get guys out of the Midwest. You know, the blue collar guys and whatnot, they were always hard. I would throw darts at them, I'd try to get them, but it just it was just a, a different feel.